This is Ray's North-South Magnetic Switch Generator number four. I did some alterations on the main power magnet that's rotary. Also, I added another output magnet. I connected them both and so they're in unison. Okay, I'm going to turn this off and I'll show you close up what I did. Okay. The main magnet, the rotary, before I had side bars on it to uh, reduce and cancel out the uh, the barrier and the north-south barrier. If you want to go ahead and watch uh, number one, two, and three, that'll give you a background. So I found out that if you have uh, these uh, guide bars, what they do, they guide you through the north-south barrier better than the solid bars that were uh, on the sides. So I did that. This is your output magnet. Very strong force, we'll be testing that later. And like I said before, I added a second one and connected them both with a uh, bar. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing as I did with the uh, number th three, two, <laughs> number two. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and do some testing. I have a motor that is the same type of motor as the input motor that's driving the whole assembly. So we're going to test the ratio between what it takes to lift and turn uh, the forces and so forth and we'll get that set up and I'll be back. Okay we're set up to measure the amount of uh, voltage and amperage it takes to lift aggressively the uh, eight quarters. And we use that for a reference, and then we'll go to the main unit. So we'll go ahead and see what the voltage is and the amperage to lift the eight quarters. And this will be our reference. Here we three. Just starting to lift it, but we want to actively lift it into the air. Here we go, about 4.2, 4.3. So we'll go ahead and use that for reference. I'll set up for the main testing and I'll be back. Okay, we'll be testing the main unit. The whole idea of the video is to record the ratio between input and output. My inquiry into magnetism was over unity results. Having more power out than the power you put in. So now we're considering the output power. I put 10 quarters in there to begin with so it doesn't bounce around too much. So I'll be adding units of 10 quarters. Here's 10. Here's 20. There's 30. There's 40. Fifty. Sixty. Eighty, I'm sorry, seventy. And lifting that, and two more makes seventy-two. That gives you twenty more quarters than uh, the earlier video that I had when we tested this. One difference I would like to point out that if I stopped the 
output the rotary motor which is causing the action still spins and yet there's still an interaction so I call this magnetically coupled but it is not magnetically locked if you have a transmission in the car uh, the old standard type you uh, go up a hill and you bog it down then the motor stops eventually but this seems to have like an automatic clutch built into it it's magnetically disconnected in one sense that you bog it down the motor keeps turning so that's some of the differences so I'm going to record we have the 4.2 or 4.3 I guess I got it 4.3 but uh, it's using about 0.01 one amp so if you multiply that together you have uh, 42 milliamp see that uh, this does have at this point I'm still call, calling this a possible over unity device I would like to next work on a, a certain type of a generator to hook up with this and then see if I can power a battery which can run itself okay thank you for uh, joining me with this uh, adventure here I really appreciate your help and uh, donations enjoy your day make every day count